Hi adventurers! Today is all about Burma and Baro, but before that, I want to acknowledge the Darawal people as the original custodians of the land on which I visited, and recognizes their continual connection to land, waters, and community. And I pay my respect to elders past and present and emerging, and I thank you all traditional owners for sharing the land with me. Okay, now let's get started. So the first place that we went to from Sydney to Burma was a place called Burklo Book Barn. And this place, it took us around two hours drive from Sydney. And really depending on traffic and where you're located in the greater Sydney area, it probably would take you around two to three hours drive, which is not a bad drive at all. We originally wanted to come here for lunch, but sadly it was so full on a weekend. Um, we went on a Sunday and it was just fully booked. And on top of that, they were hosting a wedding. So we weren't able to try out the food. And one of the staff told me that it actually takes around two months in advance to book um, for dining on the weekends. Two months. So there wasn't really any chance for us to wait for a spot to be opened or anything but i love just how the interior is as the name suggests the book barn has a lot of books and they also act as a bookshop that was um, part of their family business along with a winery yeah i just love the how they kind of took you know lay out the place and here's a picture that I was able to take here because we couldn't eat there we just walked around a little bit and then headed to um, another town called Barrow which is around 15 minutes drive from um, the Berkeley book barn and we try to have lunch there instead um, I just love how the vibe there is just like, I mean, probably because of the weather too, it was a nice weekend, um, enjoying the sun even though it's winter, and um, yeah, they have this little um, shop um, next to the restaurant actually, with like plants and furniture and home goods, and yeah, it's called the Potting Shed, which is... Um, a restaurant and um, a shop and yeah I just love walking around just browsing through plants um, home goods candles you know that kind of thing like furnitures and little um, home goods like that and yeah that was just really nice and it, it does make a good photo op as well we decided to go to a cafe called the press shop for lunch and um, here's me sitting outside taking really nice pictures but it, it got really cold so we decided to sit in indoors instead and we ordered a slow cooked lamb burger to share for the two of us and it comes with these like really really chunky sweet potato chips as well I always love like sweet potato chips, especially when they get really chunky and the meat was really tender as well. The price was pretty reasonable, so that was a really nice meal. Um, yeah, fun fact about this cafe, as the name suggests, there is actually a press shop that sells cars stationary in the area. It used to be connected to the cafe, but now it has its own shop down the road. And after lunch, we just got like a coffee and then um, head out and walked around. So this is the high street of Barrel. Um, I love how they have like little shops um, just dotting around the this little town. And it's got like a high street and here's a vintage shops i believe it was closed on a sunday so we couldn't go in 
but I also like how the exterior really acted as a really nice photo frame. And then after that, we went to a place called Gumnet Patasar Borrow, and we saw a huge queue lining outside. So we we're like, "What's going on?" And realized it's a very popular um, pastry place. And I got a mud cake and a brownie, and I absolutely loved the brownie. I highly recommend that. After some dessert, we um, headed back to um, Barama and stopped by at this place just for photos. And um, I'm really enjoying the foliage, the fall foliage um, that's been going on around New South Wales. And our last stop, we went to a place called Little Hand Sturge Jam Shop. I know it's another place to eat and um, we got our ice cream and scones fix and um, Margaret here who brought me to this trip she suggested us to go try out this place and I kid you not the ice cream was so good we got a pistachio and ginger flavor ice cream it was so creamy so flavorful so yummy and on top of that we got some hot scones um, with raspberry jams i think and clotted cream and that was the day like we ended up just picking out the, this whole trip honestly and i loved like the gingery um ice cream from this um shop i've never really had like ginger ice cream or that memorable before so that was really nice and the interior um, of the shop they sell like um, art pieces cards and a lot of like jams honey butter jelly chutneys um, like pickles and sauces and, um, yeah so if if you're into that kind of thing go check it out if you're in the area um, definitely a really cool place to check out and get some scones and ice cream as well they have really really good ice cream i highly recommend trying the ice cream so um after our picking out session <laughs> we call it a day and that was it and then we headed back to Sydney with this sunset that accompanied us. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you liked about this video or any recommendations for me. And don't forget to give this channel a subscribe and a thumbs up. And I'll see you more next time.